champion so we got an update if you haven't done it already it's probably available right now it basically added new stats within the game those are the crits and the dodge now the dodge was severely weakened from what we had in the beta actually i barely even saw it it's down to three percent chance only to tricksters and acrobat one for the moves the other for the gems so basically one class it's definitely a hell of a lot better than the 25 percent for any class that we had in the beta actually i i use my ricochet for the uh for the showdown event which is an acrobat and i dodged three times out of the whole three days that i used them and i was dodged once although i wasn't always attacking uh, tricksters and acrobats given that everyone and their mother are using zombie austin but uh, still i myself only procced it three times so definitely much much less frequent than what we expected which is a good thing the uh, crits on the other end i saw plenty on both ends none of them were really game breaking or anything didn't see much of a difference really but now there's another thing that they added in the update that we haven't seen yet because they're releasing it like in the next couple days. We'll actually uh, see the first ones rewarded, I believe, for the Rumble event that's coming. Uh, it is both the legendary straps and the skill plates. What are those? Well, we're going to equip one on Luger right now. So legendary straps, as you see, they're blue instead of being uh, the green like the epic ones. They have five slots, four for the medals and one for the new skill plate. So we're going to equip this one. You unlock the skill plate just like you would a metal slot by reinforcing it. So we got that equipped. The, the the skill plates I got right now is the one called Ed Games. It what it does it increase critical gem chance by twenty percent and create ten random botch gems when this superstar lands a critical hit. That's pretty neat for those uh, for those botch gems build like the one we're going to be testing out with luger right now there are currently three different skill plays that they did they will release more as time goes on but right now there's only three one that affect the botch gems the uh, chaotic blast increased critical gem chance by 10 percent instead of the 20 of the other one and it also has a 100 percent chance to create a random blast gem when this superstar lands a critical hit on a gem match though while the ad game is critical hit on whatever and the third one is the escape artist which is during each submission turn this superstar has 33 percent chance to automatically break 30 submission gems so we're using Luger. Luger is a powerhouse. So if we check his actual stats for crits, because we're going to be relying on those crits, he has 10% chance to have a crit with gem, and he has 10% chance to have a crit with moves. The gem crit damage is 30%, and the move crit damage is 20, and he has no chance whatsoever to dodge anything. So, uh, in this case, it's going to be the 10 for move and the 10 for gem. Boosted by this metal right here, that increased the gem chance of a crit by 20. That means we are going to have a total of 30% chance uh, to have a crit with gems. Now, we're going to go see against Booker. So to show this, I did not equip the move that generates the botch gems, the yellow move that generates botch gems. I took both reds in and instead. We're going to try to rely on getting crits to get those, bo those uh, botch gems. So hopefully we'll get some. Or not so far. <laughs> All 
Sicherheit. Still no crits. Do that sub again. We got a crit that made the botch gems. We'll use it finisher that adds 40k to it. And that's a win. That's how it helps for that. Obviously, it's not gonna be like game breaking or anything. I mean, just for this, I probably recorded like 10 match before I got a crit so you guys could see how it happens. So it's obviously not going to make or break, but it's kind of a nice little thing that you can add to customize your character. So now let's just have a look with uh, something else or someone else. And I'm just curious to try with Mark Henry since he makes so many botch gems with the Christmas suit and I got him. So I got to try with Mark Henry. <laughs> So we're going to equip the title. There you go. Took it off Luger. Right, so now with that, he has 20% increased crit chance. And on a crit, 10 botch will be generated. Given that his finisher also makes 40, so... We'll... That should be pretty much all board. Instead of almost the whole board. <laughs> Would be definitely overkill to use it on a guy like Mark Henry when you got the gear, but should be fun. Got our black. I'm getting crits so far. Right. We got a crit right there that generated botch gems. Got that remaining one, two, three, four, five, six. We got seven remaining, and we'll make 47 random ones. <laughs> Let's kick out of that. <laughs> oh, there was there was a free one on the bottom. We missed one. <laughs> All right, so you still saw how it, how it worked, but obviously it didn't need to, but still fun. All right, let's look at a different plate. All right, we're going to have a look at a different plate. 
This time it's going to be on Goldberg and it's going to be the Chaotic Blast basic plate. This one actually increased critical gem chance by 10% and has a 100% chance to create a random blast gem when this superstar lands a critical hit on a gem match. So Goldbergs already create blast gems. Those can actually be useful on a multitude of characters though. Even those that don't use blast gems. Because blast gems are going to be useful. Uh, like those create uh, the, pretty much all the character that create gems. That's very useful on that as well. So let's do this. We're going to go against Goldust. Right. We're gonna make more. Uh, actually. Gonna try and get some yellow at the same time. No crits. He did. Yet. We got a crit that made a blast gem right there. There you go. We're going to make more. And actually, we we'll, won't even break them with the finisher. I'll break all of them. And let's just put one here for damage. And we got a crit on that, that created an extra one, just to finish it. <laughs> this would work literally on almost anything. Like, basically, on Choose Gem, guys, that's pretty good as well. Obviously, if you, if you do it on someone that already generates those Blast Gems, it's just gonna be that extra. Yeah. That turned out pretty good. Let's look at something else. Alright, this time we're gonna try it on a classic guy like Ric Flair. Uh, being a showboat, he already has a gem crit chance of 15%. We're gonna add a 10% on top of that. And uh, we'll see uh, 
how he goes. Right, so we got 25% chance to get a crit. Not on this one. Not gonna use my moves right away. Because I'm trying to generate a crit. Just for the purpose of this. This is just so I don't get it by his moves. So I'm gonna try... No crit. Let's try this. There you go, we got a crit. Oh, unfortunately it went into the side. <laughs> Alright. Let's get those out. Something like that. was not a great placement for that blast gem unfortunately but you get the id all right let's have a look at the third gem plate all right we're gonna have a look at the last plate this one is the one that basically save yourself from submissions it is during each submission turn, this superstar has 33% chance to automatically break 30 submission gems. So basically one out of three chance every turn to break the sub. So I uh, did, uh, there's no bonus to any stats along with it. So actually I was gonna go against Ronda, but we're gonna go against Let's go against Alexa. Is there Alexa somewhere? She has a faster sub. Oh, Paige is kind of good too. All right, let's go against Paige. Now, I did not equip any coach that reduced the amount of submission. That's on purpose. Normally, I definitely do on females. Uh, let's make purples. Try not to kill her before she can actually pop a submission. <laughs> I'm gonna slow down. I'm just gonna let her do her submission. Don't really care about the outcome of the match, I just want to show you the sub. So next turn she's gonna have it ready. Can already make those. There you go, she's got a submission going. Now we gotta break out of it.
didn't break with this one and there you go it broke all of them we escaped that one I'm really gonna like I think <laughs> all right oops it's this one She gonna have the time to do her submission again? No, she won't. That one is definitely very straightforward and is going to work on pretty much anyone. So it might be even better on uh, on females because they all have some missions, so countering it is pretty important. One, two, three. That is pretty much it. All right, guys, so that is it about the skill plates. Again, those are going to be released in the coming days. Uh, I believe they're going to be part of the rewards or the milestones. I don't know from the uh, Rumble event that's coming in a few days. Uh, for so far, there's only three, uh, but obviously that's something that we're going to get more as time go by, like pretty much everything. So thanks for watching, guys. If you're not already a sub, make sure to do so to be kept aware when I post new stuff. If you have any questions, ask them. And if you like the video, leave a like and share. See you guys. Gia.